Hey, I'm Jamie and welcome to my channel. So today we are going to take a look at the Pantone Color Institute's predictions for the fall winter 2023-24 season that's coming up. These colors are absolutely wonderful and I think colors are a very important part of fashion and these are all the colors that they saw on the runway shows and are just telling us this is probably what we're going to see this season and I guarantee you we will see some version of them out in retail stores. So thank you so much for watching. If you love this video please give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing. So I personally love talking about the Pantone Color Institute's selection of colors but there are other people that actually put out colors as well so if you use someone else that's great and I would love to know if you do in the comments below. But these colors are normally very on point that's why I love talking about them and I'm going to show you images of products that are already out in retail stores that are these colors and I'm going to kind of mix and match and you'll see how they go together so well. So the Pantone Color Institute picks a very important color that's the color of the year that kind of defines the economic environment and a lot of the other things going on in our lives and the color for this year is Viva Magenta and I talked about this in my spring and summer color predictions video so you can check that one out. I'll link it below if you want to see that. But Viva Magenta was for energy and robustness and there was a quote I won't read it but I'll put it up here and if you want to read the whole thing just pause the video but this color is represented in both color palettes that they create for each season so they do a yearly color and then they'll do two different color palettes for the seasons and we are going to look at fall and winter today and most of the colors in this palette made sense to me but there were a couple in it that did not and I'll talk about that closer to the end so normally the Pantone Color Institute will choose 10 colors in a main color palette and then add the color of the year to it but this year they've only done nine colors and the tenth color is actually the color of the year which is Viva Magenta and then they will pick four or five classic colors that blend really well with these that are just kind of your neutral tones that ground all of these colors so I do want to start off by showing you a comparison of last fall's color palette to this fall's color palette and a lot of times they have similarities but I will point out the differences here for you if they are not sticking out to you right away but last year's color palette, there were a lot of blues. So there's two different shades of blues and one that's kind of a blue green and then just one color green. And then you have a couple of pinks and maybe one red, one orange, a yellow. So this year's color palette, there are a couple of greens. There are a few different shades of red and orange. And then you have kind of a peachy color called tender peach that is taking the place of the light pink from last year and I thought it was very interesting that there is one color that is repeated from last fall to this fall and that's rose violet so I thought that was very interesting I'm not sure why they chose that but I do think that this is going to be a very strong color for this season so now let's look at a comparison between the classic colors for each season so last fall and winter these seem to be a little bit less bold and a little bit easier on the eye they're a little bit more muted and then when you look at this year's colors they seem a little bit more vibrant so your eclipse is not totally a navy blue it has a little bit more of a bold blue feel to it and then your hot fudge is a very rich brown and then the doe color is a very very nice tan so you're going to see variations of this throughout the season and this season it's all about rich neutrals which makes sense that these classic colors would be a little bit richer so i want to start off by looking at pinks and reds because i think these are going to be the two dominant colors of this season coming up and the first one i want to talk about is red Dahlia, which is in the first image here and it is your very deep red so we're going to see a lot of burgundies and a lot of bold color reds and then the last color on this slide is actually the Viva Magenta, which does go a little bit pink, as you can see here, but it mixes really well with this tender peach in the middle, which kind of took the place of that lighter pink. Now we have a lighter peachy color that reminds me a little bit of skin tones, but I love the mixture of that color with the pinks and reds, and I think we're going to see this as somewhat of a neutral color this season. And so another addition to the pinks and reds is this red violet that they're calling it which is at the very end slide past red dahlia in the middle and this actually I thought was a good representation of some of the purplish color reds that we're going to see that are not quite burgundy but more of a 
purpley wine color and this is going to be a very dominant color this season as well I think because I'm already seeing a lot of it out there right now and there are going to be some beautiful blue colors out this season that are going to mix very well with the other colors and the first one is Persian Jewel which Persian Jewel is inspired by the mineral lapis lazuli which is very beautiful and you will find this color mixed with a lot of the reds and then a lot of your classic colors like you're seeing in this first slide and then you have the eclipse color which is your classic color but it's not quite navy it's a little bit deeper blue and I absolutely love this with a lot of those colors like the burnt sienna which I haven't talked about yet which is also another color in the palette this goes a little bit pink and orange so it's a very interesting color that I think is a representation of the rust color we've been seeing throughout the seasons and I do think it is a great neutral although it is in our regular color palette and if you see it mixed with these blues and some of the other colors it actually becomes even prettier the color orange for this this season is called red orange which makes a lot of sense it's a red orange color and I think it's perfect with the mixture of colors we have going on and there are so many different combinations that you can use the color red orange in if you can wear this color and it is a tough color on some people just like yellow so you either love it or you hate it most of the time I surprisingly loved this red orange mixed with the dough color I thought the rich dough color with the orange especially in this middle image that you can see the kind of tan top with the skirt I think it tones it down a bit and makes it a very interesting look and then mixed with reds and blues in this dress I thought was amazing and then if you mix it with navies of course it always looks phenomenal but I also love this tender peach color when you put the tender peach color which has a little bit of an orange tint to it I think it would mix really well with orange but I also love the idea of mixing it with the eclipse color because it makes it look more orange and then of course your green always look really good with orange but you have to keep in the same color family here so that can be a little bit interesting but I do think orange is going to be a very dominant color more dominant this season than it has been other fall seasons so there are two greens in the color palette one is kohlrabi which I thought was very interesting this is actually a vegetable and I had no idea so if you didn't know what that was either it is a vegetable that people eat and it's the same color green as the green that we're seeing here and then there's carnival glass which to me is completely different than kohlrabi so I was very interested to see what shades and tints of green I was gonna see and there are a lot of options and I actually thought there would be more of a deeper vibrant maybe emerald green in the palette and there was not or even an olive green there was an olive green last year in the regular color palette but there is no olive green in the, the classic colors or the regular color palette this year but there's a ton of olive green out there but there are a ton of different shades and tints of green that you're going to see. So I wanted to quickly run through some of these just so you could take a look at them. And I have just put them in slides with some other colors here that I thought they went really well with. So the pinks and the peaches and then you have the really deep blue and then there's also in the classic colors more of a white that's called coconut milk so it's a really milky white that's very pretty and I think this is going to represent a lot of the major ivory colors that we're going to see on trend this season and these greens are very interesting they don't really match the greens that are on the color palette but we're just beginning the season so we'll see as the season goes on and what comes out but they're very interesting colors in my mind so I personally feel like one of the hardest colors to wear is yellow and there is always a yellow it seems like that's represented in the color palette and this year I think the yellow is really good because it's a deeper sunshine yellow and I think it goes a little bit more towards your mustard color so this one I think is going to pair very very well with a lot of the rich neutrals and it's just going to look a lot better in my opinion so I am showing you a few ideas here so there's a solid yellow dress that I found and then this really great cardigan and the color in the background is the coconut milk which is one of the classic colors and I think this kind of helps tone the yellow down just a little bit and then you can make it a little bit more vibrant if you want to by pairing it with different colors like your Viva Magenta, which I thought this dress was a great representation of those colors together. And 
I think you can do a lot with this color more so than with some of the other yellows I have seen in the past. So I think this is going to be a good one this season. So since I talked about the greens and I'm talking about yellow, I did want to point out that you're also going to see a little bit more of your funky yellow green colors, which I think are a little bit harder to wear. But if you're dark or complected, I think these are really good options. And they also pair back very well with a lot of the classic colors. But I just wanted to show you those because I'm beginning to see these weird yellow greens and I'm not sure how I feel about them. I don't think they're going to look that great on me, but they might look amazing on you. So let me know if you love these colors. So now for my favorite colors of the season, and these are our rich neutrals. I am so excited about these neutrals because I love more bold and vibrant colors and when you do that with neutral colors they just become even better and I love all of the pairings that I'm seeing and the reason why I love it is because a lot of these colors paired with the rich neutrals just make the neutrals look more rich and the colors look more rich so as I'm going through some of these slides you can see how the color pairings of these are amazing and then I wanted to show you just some hot fudge colors because I saw a lot of monochromatic brown and I'm not usually a fan of browns, but I absolutely love this hot fudge. It's very rich and bold and it goes back very well with blue. So that means it's going to look fabulous with denim. So I've already talked about Eclipse a lot, which is your classic color that's close to navy blue and it's a really dark neutral. And I do think it's a rich neutral, but if you want a rich neutral that's not a darker color, then you would want to choose silver birch, coconut milk, and even dough. So we're going to see a lot of these grays and tans and whites and even creams out this season and I love these in monochromatic looks because I think they look really expensive when you do this and you don't have to spend a lot of money on the items and I also think mixing them together works really well when you mix neutrals you can also create a very nice somewhat monochromatic look wearing different shades and this also looks very expensive so I think this is an easy way to dress and a lot of you may already have some of these colors in your closet and I think they can bring a lot of versatility to your wardrobe and they're items that will actually last a very long time in your wardrobe as well. So I always enjoy talking about color especially the Pantone Color Institute's color palettes because I do think most of the time they're totally spot on and it's just a lot of fun to talk about. It's a very important part of fashion and what is coming out for the season and if you love fashion like I do you probably love color like I do. So thank you for watching I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed all the images and all the colors that will be out there. And I would love to know what color you'll be wearing most this season. So thank you so much for watching. If you love this video, please give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing if you have not yet. And love your neighbor, be kind, and I'll talk to you next time.